Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As always, thank you so much for joining me. So today's video is going to be a New York haul slash mostly a thrifting haul because in case you didn't know, I have just come back from New York. Well, I say just, I came back like just over a week ago from New York and I had the best time. It was like an early birthday trip with my mum and we did a lot of shopping, like a lot. However, we didn't really do our usual shopping like we would in the UK. We did mostly thrift shops, which we absolutely love. I mean, in England, we love charity shops. We go to them literally all the time. Gosh, I could not tell you how many items of clothing in my wardrobes have come from charity shops or secondhand clothing shops. I'm itching to get started, so I'm literally just gonna start showing you guys what I found. Obviously, I can't link anything below because it's kind of like one-offs. It's stuff that I found completely ad hoc, completely random. And that's what I love about like charity shops, thrift shops, secondhand shops. I just love the sort of like, you never know what you're gonna find and one man's trash is another man's treasure. So with that being said, I'm gonna stop rambling and get straight on with the video. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys what I bought in New York. As I said, most of it is thrift stores, but not all of it. Some of it, I think only a few things were from other places. So if you would like to see what I picked up and the little treasures that I found, please do keep watching. So the first thing I picked up was from Nordstrom Rack, which if you guys don't know or you haven't been, it's basically like a designer outlet. I don't really know how else to describe it. It's sort of like a TK Maxx, even though they do have a TJ Maxx in America, which is the exact same as our TK Maxx. But as far as I know, Nordstrom Rack is just slightly more high-end brands, I think because Nordstrom is obviously full of all the designer stuff, like all the designer companies. So I'm assuming that Nordstrom Rack is like the outlet version of Nordstrom, I think. And had a little shop, didn't find too much, but I did find a top and I absolutely love it. The top is from Free People and it looks like this. So first things first, my obsession with brown at the moment is just insane. I absolutely love brown. It's one of my favorite colors on me. I think it's so flattering on like my skin tone and with my hair. I don't know why, but I just love it. And I actually prefer it to black now. If I can avoid black and do brown instead, I do prefer to go for brown over black. I just think it has a little bit more warmth to it. So yeah, I found this top from Free People, which is quite an expensive brand. Obviously we do have that here in the UK, but yeah, Free People is so expensive. And it's, even though it's like a, I think it's a high street store, it would be classified as a high street store. It's definitely on the higher end of the high street. But yeah, I just fell in love with this gorgeous top. It's lovely and heavy and um, a beautiful fabric. It's sort of like a, um, like a muslin cloth that sort of fabric, it's so, so nice. It has um, the smocking here, so it's nice and stretchy and so, so flattering. I love the neckline, it's sort of a scoop but with a little bit of a sweetheart and it has like this gorgeous like ruffle trim. So it's sort of an empire line shape and then obviously comes out in these ruffles over the tummy, slightly cropped but not too cropped, like it doesn't show any tummy or anything like that and yeah these beautiful big balloon sleeves that are cinched in here i just absolutely love it and then it's got this beautiful floral pattern and the retail value of this was 98 pounds and i paid 39.97 so 40 dollars and i don't remember the exchange rate but i think it's like i don't know 30 like 30 pounds maybe just a little bit more um, but yeah, I paid $40 for this and I just absolutely love it. And then next up, I went into Target in Times Square. And for those of you who don't know, Target is sort of a, it's just a normal sort of lower end or like mid range high street store in America. We don't have it here in England, which I always like because obviously it's nice to have something that you can't get in England. 
So anyway, um, and I found this shirt which looks like this. It's just this beautiful pink and like an apricot coloured striped linen shirt. And again, I tried this on in the store and thought it looked so nice on. I got mine in a size medium. It was $25 and I just absolutely loved this. And I thought for spring and summer with some white linen loose trousers and some sandals and like a straw bag, so, so nice. And also maybe open on top of a bikini because I love linen. Even though it creases easily, it's also really lightweight and it's really good for hot weather. And I find that it doesn't really get smelly or anything like that. It's just a really great fabric. So yeah, I got this one and it doesn't look like much kind of like this, but it does look really, really nice on. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing try on clips in this video because most of it is from thrift stores, which means... I can't link it so therefore there's no point in me showing you kind of what it looks like on but yeah and I don't know how to link this either because obviously it's from Target and I don't even know if Target has a website I've got no idea but yeah this is from Target absolutely love it and I'm so excited to wear it in the warmer months and then I was a massive tourist and I was in Canal Street and I went to one of the like souvenir shops that have all of the like American um what's the word i'm looking for the american merchandise sorry i could not think of that word so anyway yeah i went into one of the like american merchandise shops and i'm not really into sort of like the new york stuff the very obvious tourist souvenir stuff that's not really my thing um on the whole unless there's something really really nice but they did have loads of New Era, and I love New Era. And I also especially love caps. So I did pick up a New Era hat. I love a cap. I'm not gonna put it on because it will ruin my hair. Not that it looks that great today anyway. But yeah, I picked up myself up this cap. It's like a kind of a faded navy blue, kind of like a washed faded navy blue with the pink logo and I just loved it. I thought it was such a nice cap. And yeah, I pretty much collect caps at this point. I really, really love them. So I'm really happy with this and it's so flattering on as well. And I think this was $25. Okay, next up, we were in Soho, not the British Soho, not the London Soho, the American Soho. And we found a second-hand store, or a thrift store. I still don't really know the difference, if there even is one. And I found the most gorgeous phone case. Basically, in the shop, most of it was second-hand. In fact, all of it was, except a couple of things that were just sort of on the, like, the, like the desk there, kind of where you pay. And they had phone cases from a company called Wildflower, which I have heard of, actually. Um, I feel like I've seen phone cases from there before, but I've never bought from there before. And I found this phone case and I asked them if they had it in like my phone version. I feel like I can't get my words out today. What's it, it's not called a phone version, what's it called? My model, oh my God. Right, I asked if they had it in my phone model, which is the 13 Pro and they did. So I was so excited, it came in this box. So it basically just says wildflower limited edition phone cases and i already have this on my phone so i will show you what it looks like so here is the phone case this is what it looks like and i'm sure you can see why i fell in love with it because it's just so me so it's this white with the like bow pink bow pattern and the black outline. It's actually really rigid and seems really, really good quality as well. I do drop my phone a lot, I'm guilty. So it actually feels not just like it's a pretty phone, but actually like it's got some substance to it and it's actually pretty rigid and strong. And I just loved it so much. I thought this was the prettiest phone case ever and I thought I absolutely have to have that. And I actually had been looking for a phone case with bows on it. So I was really, really happy to find this. And it has the little wildflower logo in the corner there. So very, very happy with this purchase. And this cost $30.
Okay, so now we're gonna start with the thrift shop finds, which is majority of this video. There is a lot to get through, so I'm gonna try and whiz through it as quickly as possible. And I also can't remember exactly which thrift store every single thing came from. I will try my best. Some of them have labels with the thrift store on it. But yeah, if I can't remember, I'm really sorry, but I will try my best. So the first thing I picked up was definitely from a Goodwill. And I can't remember which Goodwill we walked so much. All we did in New York was walk. So to be honest, I can't actually remember what which thrift store was where because there were so many of them. Goodwill is like a really popular thrift store. So there are loads of branches. So yeah, the first thing I picked up was from Goodwill. And it's actually originally from Free People again. So this is what it looks like. It's just this plain like navy blue almost like a denim color but it's gorgeous it's like a just like a nice soft cotton um and it's just got a really lovely weight to it it's got a really nice shape i love this um neckline it's sort of a wrap style top with the long sleeves and i just thought this was such a nice easy piece and i probably wouldn't have prayed prayed yeah i wouldn't have prayed i wouldn't have paid full price for something like this in free people because it just doesn't seem worth it for such a plain top so this is like the perfect sort of thing to find in secondhand stores so yeah this was $7.99 so it was $8 which I think is an absolute bargain and yeah I just thought this was so so nice and just a really nice easy staple piece and then also from the same Goodwill, I remember, I picked up this top, which is an iron. So just imagine it like nice and kind of ironed because it doesn't look fantastic. I haven't washed any of it because I wanted to save it all to show you guys before I had to take the labels off because then I would definitely forget what was from where and how much it was. So that's why I haven't like washed or ironed anything. So I picked up this top. Now I know this is not for everyone. This is definitely not everyone's cup of tea, but this is so my cup of tea. Um, I just loved it straight away. It's just this top with these gorgeous puffy sleeves and this little frill detail. I don't know how well you can see, but it has like a frill all the way along the neck, like the chest area. And it's this beautiful floral pattern with navy and orange and khaki green. And I just thought the colours were so pretty. Let me try and come a bit closer. So it looks like that. Now this is, I think, from Target. Yes, it is. Because it says Universal Thread, which is the same label as my pink striped shirt. So I'm assuming this is from Target. This was only $10.99. So this was $11.00. So I absolutely loved this. I thought it was such a steal and I just thought it looked really, I don't know, just it just looked expensive to me. It just screamed like posh high-end store and I loved it and it's very my style. So I took it. Okay, and then next up I have a jacket which I cannot for the life of me remember where I got it from. I can't remember which thrift store it was. It was one I'd never heard of. Um, it was somewhere, I think, on the Upper West Side, I think. But yeah, I cannot for the life of me remember. It just has this, like, pink label. Um, but anyway, I found this Adidas, like, jacket. I don't know if you, what you call these. You know, like a workout jacket. So it looks like this. It's basically this dark bottle green with pink and white stripes and it's in unbelievable condition. I forgot to mention everything that I've bought from the from the thrift stores is in fantastic condition. It's so, so amazing, the things that you can find. And I am not funny about secondhand clothes. I absolutely love them, as I've already explained. For me, there's like no better feeling than A, not buying something retail, and B, knowing that you're kind of contributing to like more sustainable buying. Because obviously I do love my shopping and I love buying things from a store, going in, buying a bunch of stuff. I have a lot of clothes. I really love clothing, but I also like to do my part in helping with like the sustainability factor as well and buying things secondhand that someone else doesn't want, but that I can enjoy and love and then pass down again. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Yeah, this is amazing quality. I thought this was such a good find. Let me just zip it up to show you. But yeah, it's in fantastic condition. I don't think there's literally a single thing that makes it look worn. In fact, I'm not even sure it was worn very much. 
um, and I just loved this gorgeous green. I thought it was so pretty and I actually don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. I thought it was just perfect for the gym or for going on a jog. Wearing with some nice um, flared leggings or some like sports shorts so so nice so i was very happy with this find and this was 14.99 so a little bit more expensive but still so so cheap and then i found a really gorgeous soft hoodie it's so nice and i have no idea what the brand is um so it looks like this and it's basically this super super soft like brushed cotton you know when you touch it and it's like so soft like a cloud like it kind of feels like cotton wool so it's so 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 soft and it's yeah just this like nice slouchy hoodie and this gorgeous um i don't know how to describe this sort of pink but it's just this beautiful sophisticated pink shade um and i just thought it was so nice i can't remember again which thrift store this was from it's from the same one as the adidas this was $12.99 so $13 and the company is um, New York and Company. I just absolutely loved it. I thought it was so, so snug and comfy and mum and I wanna share it because it's just really lovely and loose. So kind of like a nice flat straight hoodie rather than sort of a big bulky one. So perfect for when the weather gets a little bit warmer and you just want a tiny little extra layer. This is perfect. And then also from a different Goodwill, I found a pair of jeans. So they're just a very straight, plain blue jean that look like this. They're a nice straight leg, which is my favorite type of jeans. I'm not really into skinny anymore. Don't really like too baggy unless they're sort of like a flattering baggy. I do love a flare, but I already have quite a lot of flared jeans. But these were just like the perfect everyday jean. They've got a nice raw hem at the bottom. And I love the like the mid blue color. They are more light wash, but they're not that light wash. They're not like that really, really, really pale blue. They're like that lovely mid blue, which I love. These are sort of mid rise on me. Like they don't come up super, super high, which I hate. They come like, they come up to sort of my belly button, which is exactly where I like my jeans. And I just thought these were such a steal. These are from Topshop originally. They're a waist 28, which is my usual size for Topshop jeans. And yeah, I just thought it was so great. Again, they're in gorgeous condition, super soft, nice and stretchy. And literally the condition is 10 out of 10. Also what I love about these is I absolutely love worn in jeans. Like to me, there's just nothing better than buying a pair of secondhand jeans that have already been worn in and aren't like rigid anymore and snug they're sort of they've already been like stretched out a little bit that's like my favorite thing about buying secondhand jeans they just fit that little bit better and you feel like you don't have to like you know when you have to like squat and like stretch them out a little bit and sort of like stretch the waistband you don't have to do it when someone else has already done it for you so i really am so happy about these and these were 9.99 so ten dollars such a bargain top top jeans are like around 40 pounds so i think that's an absolute steal Okay, and then again, I'm really sorry, I don't know which thrift store the, this was from because it was quite a small one and this was also from the Upper West Side. But yeah, I just really cannot remember what the thrift store was called and it doesn't have like a label. But I found a cardigan and it was just the prettiest cardigan. Sorry, as I'm speaking, I'm doing it up. It was just the prettiest cardigan and I just thought it was absolutely lovely and so me and my mum actually spotted it. And I was like, yes, mum, that is a good find. So I found this cardigan. I'm really sorry, I haven't done it up all the way. It's this beautiful brown with white speckles and it has these gorgeous puff sleeves, which obviously sold me. I feel like that just gave it like the extra little bit of wow factor. Just gorgeous. And this is from Abercrombie originally. It has the V-neck, of course, and it's a tiny, tiny bit cropped, but not like overly cropped it's just not like a baggy loose fit it's sort of just a nice straight fit again i tried it on and it's just so so nice i am actually doing up the buttons now just to show you properly but it's so so pretty i love this like gorgeous soft cable knit and i have to say the thing about abercrombie is it just stands the test of time and obviously retail abercrombie is quite expensive like a cardigan like this would probably have been around 50 60 pounds 
Like their stuff is not cheap by any means, but I feel like the quality really stands the test of time. Every time I buy something from Abercrombie, it lasts for years. And you can obviously see even secondhand, the quality is still there. It's still extremely soft. It's in excellent condition. There's no bobbling. It's just a great company. So if you can find it secondhand, even better. And this was so cheap. This was only $8 which again, such a bargain. And look at this beautiful color. I just think it's gorgeous. Like a rusty brown, which again, I just love brown so much. And then again, from the same thrift store as the one before. So I, sorry, I can't remember which one it was. Um, I also found this flannel, which looks like this. I'm sure you can tell I love a flannel. The one I'm wearing is from Hollister. It's actually my mum's, but I just stole it from her cupboard because sharing is caring. And yeah, I just love a flannel, especially like a nice, soft, oversized one. And this was like the most perfect flannel. Again, I love that it's been worn, so it just feels a little bit more sort of slouchy and I don't know, just less new and less neat. Like it's just that perfect, perfect amount of worn. But yeah, it's still in great condition and it's super soft. It's the perfect shape. It's like oversized and loose fitting, but not overly long um, and not too big and boxy and bulky. It's just like the perfect amount of oversized. So this is American Eagle Originally, which is another brand I absolutely love. And I just thought this was the perfect shirt, like everyday slouchy flannel to wear with some nice straight jeans, maybe even the jeans that I bought in New York and I'm so so happy with this find this was also so inexpensive this was five dollars so cheap that's like three pound fifty or something it's so cheap so i'm so so happy with this purchase and i will definitely be wearing this so so much okay guys and then finally the start of the show which is the thing that i'm most excited to show you what i found so I wanted to leave them till last because it was just the most exciting find of them all in my opinion but these weren't actually for me these are actually something that my mum bought but I found them I found them I saw them it was all me but they are actually for her and I saw them and literally went like made like a beeline for them because I, I just knew straight away what they were and I got so excited and I just like grabbed them so I found these Tory Burch trainers. Now these were also from that same thrift store or secondhand store as the phone case. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was called like tiny pretty things or something. Okay, I was nowhere near, but I know where I was coming from. It was called Funny Pretty Nice, which is quite a cute name for a store. And I forgot to mention the name before. So yeah, it's called Funny Pretty Nice in Soho in New York. And these were on the floor under the rail. And I saw them, I used to work at Tory Burch. I straight away knew exactly what they were, where they were from, how much they would have cost. And I was like, please either be my size or mum's. And they were mum's. So they're a size uh, UK five. And honestly, these were the biggest bargain of the century. These were $45. Now I will put a picture of this on the screen of these trainers because I know exactly what they're called and how much they cost. And you will be shocked when you see the picture because these are literally brand new. I don't even know if you can tell on camera. They are literally brand new. The only signs of wear are from my mum wearing them because she's been wearing them. They are honestly, in spotless condition i mean literally unworn so i don't know who bought them and why they gave them up but genuinely i was like mum you have to have those trainers and she tried them on they were so comfortable she said oh my gosh they're gorgeous they looked fantastic on her they looked really fab and they're just this most beautiful design the white with the purple accents and a little bit of yellow as well and then this cool sort of translucent part at the back that just makes them a little bit young and fun and cool Honestly, what an absolute steal were these. I honestly was shocked. They think I had a heart attack. And $45 for these was the best bargain ever considering the actual retail worth, the retail price and the fact that they were new. So this was amazing. So if you live in Soho, 
in New York, definitely go to Funny Pretty Nice and have a look at their stuff because you never know what you're gonna find. Okay guys, so that is everything. That is the end of my New York fashion haul slash thrifting haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit different to usual, so please let me know down in the comments if you liked this, if you'd like to see more like this. For example, I get a lot of stuff in charity shops all the time in London, so if you would like to see a charity shop haul or even like a charity shop come shop with me or something like that where I like take you along with me, please let me know if that is something that you would like to see because I just love just love secondhand bargains. They are so much fun to find and you just never know what you're gonna find and I love that about it. So just a little element of surprise is always fun. Stay tuned for my next video, which I'm pretty sure is gonna be a birthday haul because I feel like people love those and they're one of my favorites to watch as well. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.